The Brooklyn Nets are putting out alternate jerseys. Obviously, we have discussed jerseys before. Ben has told me, do not ever buy another NBA jersey. And I've listened to him. Amazing. So the Brooklyn Nets have put out these alternate jerseys. They're going to wear them four times this year, if we could pull them up very quickly. They basically remind us of the Brooklyn Dodgers. Darren Ravel was the first on the scene to report all of this. So uh, they were inspired by the Brooklyn Dodgers. They will be unveiled March 21st. 21st against Boston, and as I said, they will be worn four times. The Brooklyn Blue Knights is the nickname for these alternate jerseys. And the sales, by the way, you want to guess at how much? Did you read the story? Can we see them? Yeah, we're finding them. Okay. All right. they're, they're in there. Mike's working. He's hustling. Uh, the player t-shirts, want to take a guess at how much those will be? $189. $32, a little off. Uh, the actual oh, jerseys. Oh, t-shirts. Yes. Mm -hmm. so, there, so there it is right there. The Brooklyn... Blue Knights. Mm, so reminiscent of the Dodgers. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? I guess the Go to the Dodgers jersey? The colors are the same. Yeah, the colors are the same. Yeah. That's about it. Um, I just, I, I think that the Brooklyn Nets should have gone more with their old uh, retro jerseys from the early years I used of the to Brooklyn love Nets. Those. Yeah. 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 When Jason Kidd was on the team, they had yeah. the stars on the side and yeah. everything. Just yeah, those back, are tight. Go back to the day. They're for, you know, the first days of the Brooklyn Nets, like back in 2013. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why are you so like critical like that? Because it's just, why do you make those jokes? Because it's just marketing. It's just flash. Like they're just they're just trying to sell you stuff. That's all. Okay. Like like you know, and they're like, no, it's red. We're trying to honor the Brooklyn Dodgers. You're not honoring the Brooklyn Dodgers. Like you don't care. Like it's not. They're just. What would be the best way to honor the Brooklyn Dodgers? Honor them in halftime. Bring them in. Sandy Koufax. Move the Los Angeles Dodgers to Brooklyn. Have them play baseball there for uh, 40 years. That, that would be a good way. That would be yeah. no. So I just mean it's it's silly. It's just a way. Look, I'm I'm not even saying I'm not I'm not I'm not being overly cynical. I'm not saying don't even buy. You want one of those? You like Brooklyn? Go ahead. But like it's not like respect to the Dodgers. <laughs> I mean these guys just the Dodgers left Brooklyn and 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 left that city. Heartbroken. You look so short, by the way. Um, yeah, they left. Uh, they left Brooklyn and they left that city heartbroken, right? And uh, the Nets just left somewhere else. You know uh, that the Northern New Jersey was not heartbroken by it, but nonetheless, it doesn't so, seem like they were. I mean, like if you want to respect the Brooklyn Dodgers, go back to New Jersey. Like that's <laughs> that's how you would respect the Brooklyn Dodgers. So they're just selling stuff. That's all. Uh, the NBA jerseys, uh, you did not make a prediction, but they are going to be worth 50 to $110, obviously depending on kids' sizes to adult sizes. Um, all right, well. So it's all David Stern. It's all marketing is what it seems like. Yeah, it might even be David Stern. I mean, the Nets are probably doing this on their own. I'm you sure, think so? I'm sure teams have some freedom to decide well, what. Well, I mean, they, they and by the way, let me ask you this, and granted, we have not worn them. We have not played competitive basketball in them. Uh, I've played in the NBA a few times, but when you were talking about sleeves, Mm -hmm. I mean, look, it's not like it's not like you're wearing a t-shirt. These things are they seem like under armor, like they're attached to your biceps. Yeah, but I mean, I'm just, there seems to, I'm sure there's great freedom of movement. They just look different. I feel like them. I'm, I don't that's know, what I've I'm never, asking. I've never worn a tank top I'm saying in my when life. You're, when you're watching the NBA, do you like seeing the Warriors wear those gold they're, jerseys with the sleeves? They're okay. You don't mind? Yeah, yeah no, I don't mind at all. I, I think I have always thought that the tank tops were weird. Which oh, you did. Yeah, I think it's weird to have uh, like a guy in your underarm when you're playing sports. I just think it's strange. What are you talking about? Like when you you see it all the time in the NBA, guys go for shot. The other guys try to block him. Guys' faces here. Like it's weird. Yeah, it's, it's just weird. Nothing. We don't play any other sport in an under in a in a in a tank top. Sure. It reminds me of a long came Polly. When Ben Stiller is playing with right, yeah, with uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman. Philip Seymour Hoffman. Yeah. yeah. Ice Man. <laughs> right. Rain Man. Um, it's uh, long came Polly. Not that movie. bad. No, it's not a bad movie at all.